Opportunity to re sign your players or they'll become free agents. I'm the Jones here. So here we are in the offseason. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, a free agent. I mean, we're not going to sign him though, he's 31. Antonio Brown, that is an interesting. That's really tantalizing. Uh, Taylor Rapp be a nice. So, first we're going to be making some moves though. Uh, we came, we had, uh, if you guys remember from the last, last episode, we had a little bit of a dispute with Daryl Henderson, uh, he punched a ref in, in the Super Bowl, so uh, we talked to him about it, and he said some not nice words about the coaching staff, the organization, uh, so we are not going to allow that, that is not tolerated, um, so Daryl Henderson uh, we take a hit just from trading him away, but we are going to anyway. Uh, we're going to see if we can get a second and third. Well, we did give a second for him. That's pretty fair, and we do get our second back. They take Daryl Henderson, who could possibly be a problem child. Uh, we're going to look at halfbacks. I just passed it. Oh... <sighs> I don't really see much I can I, I would like um so we're gonna go back in the free you can see there are some interesting names here Antonio Brown I did want him last off season I don't know if I still do uh, he could be a great a, a veteran presence uh, but then again you also have to think about uh, the, the, the personality and also how that would affect the team especially our um our halfback um our i one of our star halfbacks josh jacobs so i think i, I think we're just gonna leave him alone uh, we do have some interesting, interesting names here in the halfback position. Um, Miles Sanders, we could sign him. This is behind Jamal Daniels. You know, we're just looking for a guy who could possibly take that, uh, that, uh, I already forgot his name. Daryl Henderson slot. So we're just gonna go through here. Benny Snell. Oh, that is an interesting name. Darwin Thompson is also an interesting name. I'm not gonna make that effect. <sighs> Me, oh, I kind of like Benny Snell, but I don't know. I, I just don't. There's a lot of good halfbacks here. We could take Justin Jackson. Yeah, Steve Hines. Be a possibility, but I'm not going to really fight for running back. I just want a nice young scheme for running back. Uh, we did sign Ronald Jones in the regular season to uh, back up some players. I'm thinking between Benny Snow, Tony Pollard, um, and Miles Sanders. Or, or actually, Devin Singletary would be a good one too. 
Um, I'm really leaning towards Benny Snell. I don't know why. Um, I just liked him in Kentucky. He's played four years. Uh, he is kind of slow though, so that could be a downhill. Well, it's like a Tony Pollard. Um, a 95. Oh, I really do like that. Let's see what elusiveness he has. Um, 87 juke move. I'm liking that. We might we might sign Tony. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give him a nice offer. Uh, I guess three years is fair. We'll just see if he takes it. I mean, oh, he probably will. It's a pretty big offer. Wide receivers. Um, I don't I don't know. I'm really surprised about Michael Harmon sitting there. Uh, that really does shock me. We could take, ooh, Hunter Renfro. There are a lot of interesting players in, here in this free agency. Um, Riley Ridley, Debu Samuel, uh, Terry McLaurin, Kelvin Harmon. Uh, just some players that could really, we could benefit from. Um, I, I think I'm willing to make an offer for me, Cole Harden. Uh, mostly because of his speed. You know, 95 speed definitely would help this team. So we're gonna look at a nice offer. Um, I see Paris Campbell here too. He's also a speedy receiver with a 95 speed. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of good players here. Uh, speedy receivers. 91. So, if Michael Harmon doesn't accept, we'll see there. Okay, um, Froster. Oh, Froster? Monroe. Could be a possibility for us. Uh, we do need a, a tight end to. Kind of, we're kind of looking for one to replace. Uh, Eric Yvonne. Jordan Thomas. <laughs> Uh, we'd only have three years with him. I, I kind of wanted a long term. You know, I don't want to have to replace another Eric Yvonne basically in a couple of years. Uh, right now, Josh Oliver is our best bet. But uh, that would kind of kill our cap that we have here. I'm just going to offer him this. Let's see if he accepts. Oh, we can't make that offer. Okay, so we're gonna give him a real low ball. Um, Andre Dillard. Uh, we do have Jordan Williams, though. Uh, I don't. I think we're good. Offensive line wise, this is where it's gonna get bad. Um, left. We have no left in. According to Madden, um, just Houston 34. That's impressive. Sam Hubbard. St. Hubbard and Keem Nagakwe, same age, um, both superstar, and they're playing the same position. I'm pretty sure Madden moves them over. You can, ooh, you can take Drew Tranquil. I've heard that he develops nicely, but, yeah, I'm old. You could take another halfback, a uh, halfback corner. Uh, Rocky Sin, be a possibility. Just a lane, wow. Is, oh, okay. I was like, this name looks so familiar. Monty Johnson. Uh, Julia. I started a lot of these players um, with, uh, this draft. Oh, Bryce Cowell. Not what I thought. Right. Um, honestly, when I looked at this draft, um, this, I mean, this, this is these are rookies. I really wanted Monty Johnson just to win. Um, I was. Okay, we drill out. No, they didn't. They didn't let it. All right. They, they, there's no way. All right. Okay. We could take Jonathan Abram, Amani Hooker, Amani Watts. Um, out of Iowa, I believe. Uh, his brother Amani plays for the Colts. If he's from Iowa, right? Yeah. Taylor Rapp, um, pretty sure, 
can't remember. I know. Uh, yeah, Nathan Abram is from, uh, Arkansas State or something. It's like A State, I can't think of anything right now. Mississippi State, I don't know why I shot it. That. Taylor Rapp from Washington, oh yeah. Uh, Josh Jones, um, who was recently cut in real life. Um, we do have Docs there sitting at the strong safety. Mike Hilton hitting 29 is kind of not how I want to see things. So, we're going to see if we can get Lonnie Johnson in place. Not as big contract as he wants. Because that's really going to kill us. I don't think we, we can sign him on the lowest that we offer, yeah. So it's just possible. Um, I don't know how this always happens. We always go into the season with like 80 something mil in cap space and we get down to like this. And it's, it's just, it's bad. So, we're gonna advance. Let's see if. All if combine some, uh, stats, such as a 40 yard dash, are now we do. available. We get in both scouting. of our, the guys we wanted. We have 790,000 in a in available signing money. I'm just trying to find someone. I really want to go for Trayvon Mullen. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna look here. I think if we go down here and we see any superstars, we're gonna be a little bit thirties. Yeah. Um, so let's go up here. Um, the best. I mean, I really want Bonnie Johnson, but he's just a hard sign. So the best we can do is uh, trade on Mullen. Uh, if we sign him to a five-year deal, you know, thirty. We we can't we can't though. Uh, this game does not want us to. Have any free agents? I don't know how this always happens. Really. Um, you know, maybe it is time that we get rid of Eric Ebron. I'm pretty sure his contract is one of the biggest here. Um, you just got really got to look at that age and Eric Ebron and Mike Hilton are really killing us right now. Uh, so. We're gonna go in here. Uh, we could probably get some picks or something for Eric Ubon. We do have some guys sitting behind too, um, especially if Josh Oliver comes in. So we're gonna see if there's any teams that need to tighten in. Really? I mean, at least the top three need would really help us. But. Apparently, everyone like just. Uh, oh, they need a tight end. The Browns. Actually, let's see if we can. Wow, they have. Oh wait, let's, let's see if they got a corner for us. Greedy Williams is here, isn't he? He's an 87, that's kind of a, a big, actually, I wonder if we could possibly get greedy. So we're gonna, we're just gonna kind of lowball our offer real quick. Oh, I just want the next year to agree, I feel like that's fair, and it is. Uh, so, Next up, Mike Hilton. 29. We do have some guys sitting behind him. Uh, also, Vernon Hargraves kind of worrying me, so I think we will trade him. Maybe package deal. Yeah, you know, we're gonna package them together. We're gonna, ooh, Dolphins. I mean, I got the thing right. See, the out range for the ice 30. So. They got Taylor Rapp. Damn. I wanted to get Taylor Rapp. 
think it's gonna be three. I feel like that's pretty fair. I mean, all we're gonna use is crazy them. Good players. Um, <laughs> they got tight ends, right? They're all like farty. <laughs> oh, you guys are the reason why. I mean, all right, well, I, I guess I'll just for a solid second. All right, let's look here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna trade for like a 30 year old when I just sign one. I just got rid of a 30 year old. You really think I'm gonna get rid of one just yet? Oh. Alright, well. I should have been making no captain, but it's not gonna go in the pit till next week, so hopefully there's still some players on um, the free to see. I'm really hoping there is. Or, uh, what we just did is all for naught. And, uh, 13.21 million. Um, Antonio Brown is still there. Uh, you know. So, corners. Ronnie Johnson is still there. I love to see that. Trayvon, oh, Trayvon Mullen. I'm liking that. A two year deal. 96 points. I think we're gonna, I think we should, I think we can get him. Um, Lonnie Johnson would be a really nice gift to you, so, I kind of want to, I don't know, offer him too big of a contract, free see if you can get there, get there, um, Titans, here we go, we did offer a guy, Josh Oliver, um, I don't really think there's any other person you know, that I'd rather go for, so, I mean, Foster in a row would be a person that I might go for, but <laughs> so we're gonna offer him until he's like 40. Okay, uh, just 30. No, uh, we only slightly moved up his contract. All right, so I don't want to give him that with this. I mean, oh, this Jesus guy. I feel like 140 is fair, but we'll give you 1.9. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, that's, uh, kind of different of paying Oh, I don't want to overpay too much. Alright, so halfbacks. Um, Benny Snell's still here, and you know what? I just, but, you know, two years, I don't think you could really go wrong with that kind of a contract. Uh, you know, it's not an ideal contract, but I'm not really going to bend backwards <laughs> and do some shit just to get, you know, a, a halfback that we don't really need. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a luxury thing. You know, 70, oh, okay, 74, uh, tight end. We're gonna go back over here, um, and down this a little bit to, like, just... <laughs> Alright, quarter mil. Alright, I'm middle, middle of the quarter. Oh my god, I can't fucking do it. Alright, um. I really hope no one just like comes and snags him from us. Uh, we could, we could possibly sign him. It, it would take a lot. Oh yeah, see, he wants, he wants 5.6. That kind of just shows what we're trying to do here. The only reason why I really want him is because of this. Um, I love the extra hot routes, but it's not really worth a drama. I wonder what this guy's spec catch is because he didn't make some crazy catches in college. Only 82. All right. Hunter Renfro. He's the he, uh, guy that we might want to go for spec catch. Nope. Gary Jennings. Ray Jones' son, I'm pretty sure, from Buffalo. That's Virginia. No, there's a, there's a guy from Buffalo that's crazy. Ooh. I'm liking these ratings. 88 spec catch, 88 jumping, 89 agility, 93 speed. I might send him to like a little, a little bitty contract. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to sign that much. It's a 78. Alright. No one has offered him. You know, it's just kind of a, a luxury thing. All these guys are luxury. 
you know, and <laughs> I mean, if they don't accept, then I'll just go to the trade block and trade for players. Um, all right, so we got <laughs> all the guys that we really offered accepted, except uh, the receiver. Um, I'm guessing he wants to test free agency more. He doesn't want to take that offer, which is okay. He has an opinion. He, you know. <laughs> so, um, let's go take a look see here. Uh, he, he just doesn't want to sign. Um, oh my god. I think I might shoot myself if I do this, but I'm going to shoot myself if I don't do it. So, I just, you know. 35. Uh, I love him sit last time too. I don't know. He, he might retire too, and I can just. <sighs> oh, uh, sorry. The draft is about to start, and I'm just gonna take a look at this picture real quick. Uh, whoa, hold up. Matt Ryan is 69 overall. He's almost 40. That's a retire. Look at him go. Oh, there's no point in that. It just kills my cap. Some more. Oh my god. Russell <coughs> Oh yeah, let me trade for 32 year old AJ Boy. Am I right, guys? Okay, so. I don't know what to do. What could we what could we possibly get with all the these picks that we have? We have a second, a second, a fourth. What do you think we guys what do you, what do you think we can get with those guys? Let's, let's look at corners. I, I mean I'm sure there's a <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a young corner that's like really talented that we can just steal. With these picks, um, Dante Jackson, Josh Jackson. Whoa, the book. Twenty-seven and Ooh, twenty-five. What is seven? Whoa. Max Peters, David Long. <coughs> I'm dying on the inside, guys. Don't we offer just something? Oh wait, no, I said something about him, but I never offered him anything. Maybe I'll just uncrack or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know, guys. I think I just... Maybe I should just look at the CPU draft. Because there's not, like, I can, a guy to trade for. Fuck! Oh. Really? Wow. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much here. So we're gonna look at the, the CPU draft. Um, so I'll see you guys at the end of this draft simulation. So we're doing this together. Let's see what the CBU drafted for us. Garbage! We got another wide receiver. Um, 
All right. Oh, I just, I just, uh, this is, this is great. All right. So we're gonna go to the first week of the preseason. Um, and we're gonna look at free agency. Now let's take a minute to see how you All can right, improve agents. your team. Is he still here? How does this happen every year? He's he gone. He gone. All right, so oh, I was gonna sign Antonio Brown, uh, but he's gone. All right. There's stuff here. You know what? I'm going to check the list first before I. Oh my god, Gary Jennings signed the Broncos. <sighs> he did no one cares. At least, uh. Retired, no one. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at the sign first. Um. Alright, let's see who this motherfucker signed with because he's always signing. Albert Wilson signed, Terry McLaurin signed, David Montgomery signed. Whoa. Devin Singletary. Uh, Monty Hooker. Easton Sticky had signed. But I'm not seeing Antonio Brown. Oh, it's AJ, his cousin. That threw me off for a Did he, did, he, did he retire? Eric Fisher is with the Panthers now. Oh my god. I was like, please tell me the Chiefs didn't sign him. Armani Watts? Oh, I thought that that hooky for some reason. That's just so retarded. Oh look, there's that guy in the Browns cut in I roll. That's a rip. Oh, I'm not seeing him. <laughs> I just kind of spaced out for a little second. So I'm good. I, I don't think I'm going to pass him. Oh god. Where the fuck is he? Alright. Oh my god, bro. I'm starting to think he retired. This seems like every other fucking thing I do. Um, when I go past. Like, he's fucking 40 when he retires, and all the other shit I do. <laughs> There's no fucking way he retired, bro. Alright, how did these people sign in the draft? Because I wasn't able to. That's kind of retarded. Yeah. I don't, I just don't fucking know. Alright, someone needs to get this goddamn ant out of here. Fuck off, you bitch. I don't care about my stories. All stories, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. I didn't say he retired. Where the fuck? Alright, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. He just disappeared. I hope you guys enjoyed the off season. Um, I'm just getting done. Have a good day, night. I don't know.